Just putting together a little video here of uh, behind the scenes of uh, what I do to keep the collection uh, current and uh, all the parts that I use. I mean, it is uh, a number of years of gathering stuff um, that I've just kind of finally organized a little bit neater than the last video. I'll just run through some of the stuff. Uh, it's almost like an equipment room here, but it's not. Um, I have a variety of uh, uh, adhesive uh, films. You know, if I need to make something quick or hide something, uh, there's, you know, I can, I can cut it out. Um, here's all my drawers of parts. Uh, I got all kinds of parts, uh, clips. I got the uh, visor clips. I got uh, you know, chin strap clips, uh, screws, uh, T-nuts. Okay, everything for just about all the helmets. Um, extra, extra parts for the speeds, speed flex, um, some jaw pads up there, tape, and I got a toolbox, got a couple of Rydell catalogs, uh, down here is where I keep the decals, so try to organize them for the NFL, you know, front back bumpers, got tons of them in there, got a Oakley visor, going to be putting the project soon. So warning labels, NFL, CFL shields, the flags. Got a variety of uh, NCA pennants here. You can see all kinds of. So if I'm doing a project, I sometimes piece it together because I don't always get all the stuff in one shot. Uh, all kinds of numbers. You know, for NFL, college. Okay. Here's some of the waxes and polishes that I use to keep the uh, helmets clean. That's a great car polish, and this is a, if I have a molded plastic helmet, that's a great uh, plastic polish. Uh, it really makes the helmets look good. Um, here's the tools of the trade. Here's a drawer full of uh, all kinds of stripes. I got some spares. So if I usually dig in there and for the most part find what I'm looking for. Uh, here's some upcoming projects. You know, at some point get them all done. Some of them are duplicates. So that's a box of decals and that's just uh, leftovers or uh, uh, scrap decals I have in there. So that's uh, pretty much the uh, small stuff. I got a couple of drawers here. In the drawers I got, this is my main Selection of chin straps. I got all the uh, uh, sports star there. I got some Rydell soft cup and Rydell hard cup, uh, both for the flex and the uh, the regular helmets, uh, tapes, pumps. So if I need to fix something, I can fix it. Okay. Uh, here's the uh, great little tool if you don't have one of these for the flex, uh, for the uh, speeds. I mean to take off the uh, attachments. Down here, face masks. I try to categorize them. Here's some shut, the traditional shuts, a couple titanium ones there. Got a bunch of face masks for the uh, uh, for the flex, for the speed flex helmets. And over here, I got the speeds. So again, I'll usually dig through there and look and see what I need. Sure, I have some more. This is uh, for the more traditional helmets, uh, the older style, as they're kind of getting known as. Uh, a few more shots here, various colors. And then down here, I got some of the older Rydell ones, the Z bars, and I got some Revolutions here. Yeah, those are kind of becoming a thing of the past, so I'm going to hang on to those because uh, they're going to probably be involved in a lot of throwback helmets so anyway that's what it takes to keep the collection going so uh thanks for looking